Hey everyone, back again. Welcome back to another video review. This time we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series Voyager Class Mixmaster. Looks pretty good, and what can I say? It's pretty impressive. As you can see, his Ultra Mode is a cement truck. It's amazing. Progress we'll see is, well, gray, silver, black, dark blue. Uh, has the MAC logo on the front. Looks impressive. I like the fact that they added a spare tire in this. Pretty cool. Um, basically, he is he forms the head for Devastator. In the movie, he it's so weird. He dies with Devastator in when he in combined form, but then, but beforehand, he was killed by Jetfire in the final battle. So it didn't make sense. Really, really didn't. Unless that Supreme Class Devastator years ago was probably the drones. I could be wrong. Anyhow, so the vehicle looks great, like the cement mixer. It doesn't spin due to transformation, sadly, and you could technically pour stuff out of the nozzle if you wanted to, like, but don't try this at home. Don't put actual cement in this. But I'm pleased to say that this figure is not a horror show as the original figure. And what I mean by that, the transformation was so, so intricate. It's become so intricate, I couldn't even transform the original Voyager figure, like, even, like, like, 11, 10, 11 years after I got him, so, wow. Anyway, so, the truck mode looks great, what can you do, what's impressive, and for I forget, he comes with his backdrop here, which is the same as the Destructicons and a few others, the desert, you know, battle there, so, there's that. So all in all, like I said, Mixmaster looks great. Love the love the the colors on this guy. It looks impressive. What can what more can I say? Okay, so the transformation to his robot mode um, is interesting because you can see you can see the his feet and knees and all that stuff. So basically, what you want to do is pretty much split open the barrel here, split these guys apart. All right, because. And then, and then you can see there's his entire feet assembly, so it'll pretty much pull this guy down. So pretty much stand him up, and then raise, pretty much raise forward his, um, it's odd. Pretty much raise forward his arms here, but sometimes it can get in the way. There we go. Now, if you wanted to technically, let's just show this quick here, you could technically do, much like the original figure and in the film, you could kind of do his, yeah, you could kind of do his battle platform mode, which is kind of silly, but what can you do? It doesn't have that feature in this figure, so anyway. So getting out of that, Split the legs apart, fold, fold these guys up around his, around his chest there, or just leave them like that. The arms here, just pretty much fold them forward, turn them downward, and flip forward the the claws here, and then the the cement mixer folds in. Fold this guy if you wanted to fold this in and then just angle this part back of the cement mixer and then do the same thing on the other on the other side although so on my copy at least this one hangs a little loose so I'm just gonna leave that as is so there you go on that so let's get the arms like that the smokestacks of the of the truck mode flip around to give you and then just click that into place then you can fold these guys around so fold the arms up fold this guy back if you can 
and then get the uh, smokestacks angled on that side here. Get the figure situated as best you can. And there you go. There you have Mixmaster in his robot mode and wow. I know, but it's the movie aesthetic, so I can't really blame the figure. Articulation wise, head and go full 360, up and down side to side. Arms go full 360, out to the side, bend the elbow. And the hands can bend forward and back, but there's no wrist articulation. He has no waist to the transformation, but the legs go forward and back. Sorta. Oh. One thing I've got to do is extend the arms. Extend the legs like that. Extend the yeah. Extend the legs back, and then there you go. Legs forward and back out to the side. Bend to the knee. Rotate, and that's it. I forgot that you're supposed to. Yeah, as I said, push the legs back, and there you go. Um. His head looks interesting. Very, very deceptive in a way. What do they call them? Decepticons. <laughs> Uh, again, much like Scrapper and a few others, he has no accessories. Although he does note he does come disassembled in the box, specifically his shoulder pads and the front of the truck. But pretty much removing that or unclipping it will reveal Devastator's head, which I'm going to show off in the combined review when once I get Overload. He is because Overload's the final component, and there's that. So all in all, well, I recommend getting Mixmaster. He's a pretty nifty figure, but I will say he's 10 times better than his original figure with the transformation. The transformation is interesting, amazing, and pretty, it's straightforward, it goes to the point, it doesn't do anything obvious. That's what I, what I really admire about this figure, is the transformation. So, I'd highly recommend him. You won't be disappointed by this guy one bit. It looks incredible, really impressive, and just looks, Interesting to say the least. See, it's my video review of the Transformers Studio Series Voyager Class Mixmaster from Revenge of the Fallen. I will see you all very soon. I'll be back as soon as possible with the next video. And yes, so take care everyone. See you soon. Good day, and I shall catch you later. Bye bye.